Welcome to Mysteries, where we give the information and you guys try to figure it out. Today we're going to be talking about a few unsolved mysteries, where there might be something deeper in Rocky National Park, or searchers are missing some clues. On March 3rd, 2019, search efforts began for James Pruitt in the Glacier Gorge area of the Rocky Mountain National Park. Pruitt was from Etowah, Tennessee. After a vehicle parked at the Glacier Gorge Trailhead was determined to belong to Pruitt Sunday morning, March 3rd, rangers contacted Pruitt's family in Tennessee. His family confirmed he was in the area and hadn't heard from him since Thursday morning, February 28th, at approximately 10 a.m. They were unaware of his destination for that day. More than two feet of snow accumulated in the Glacier Gorge area between Thursday, February 28th and Sunday, March 3rd. That significant snowfall and mountainous terrain added to the challenge of search efforts, making finding clues to Pruitt's whereabouts even more difficult. Active search efforts took place March 3rd through March 9th. The overall search area encompassed approximately 15 square miles and included the Glacier Gorge drainage, the Lock Vale drainage, and the Glacier Creek drainage. Searchers concentrated efforts in the heavily forested areas near Bear Lake and the Glacier Gorge Trailhead, the Nymph Lake area, Chaos Creek area, the Alberta Falls area, Lake Haya, Mario's Gully east of Lake Haya, and the winter trails to Mills Lake. Off snowpack trails, searchers encountered chest deep snow in numerous areas. Approximately 50 Rocky Mountain National Park research and rescue team members were involved in additional search efforts for James Pruitt, Wednesday, October 9th. Those search efforts were concentrated in the areas of Prospect Canyon drainage and Glacier Gorge drainage above Jewel Lake. Five teams comprised of 40 searchers conducted grid searches in areas heavily covered with thick timber, dead and down trees, thick willow, tall grass, and mountain streams. Throughout the summer, smaller teams have focused specific search efforts in other segments of the search area. The general search area has also experienced significant visitation of the last four months. Unfortunately, no clues have been left behind. Assisting Rocky Mountain National Park Search and Rescue team members have been Larimer County Search and Rescue, Rocky Mountain Rescue based in Boulder County, Diamond Peak Ski Patrol, Douglas County Search and Rescue, Alpine Rescue Team, and numerous dog teams from Larimer County and Rescue. To this day, James Pruitt has not been discovered or his remains. That same year in 2019, Rocky Mountain National Park Rangers found a body to believe to be a New Jersey man who was missing for seven months in the park's highest mountain. The body was believed to be Ryan Albert of Marlton, New Jersey, said park spokesperson Kyle Patterson. Marlton was last seen October 4th on the trail on Long's Peak, which reaches 14,259 feet. Rangers found the body in May 2019 in a snowy, steep, rocky ravine called the Trow. It was about 1,000 feet below a section of trail called the Ledges and about 2,000 feet below the summit. A helicopter recovered the body Friday and was taken to the Boulder County corner for an autopsy and identification. Rescue search teams had searched for Albert on foot and in the air. There's still one other person missing into the park in addition to James Pruitt. Micah Tice, 20 years old of Las Vegas, was last seen November 24th, 2018 on the Long Peaks Trail. He was a student at the Air Force Academy Prep School in Colorado Springs. What may be happening in Rocky National Park? TikTok has taken to this and said cannibalism may play a part. While most stories regard the supposed cannibals are related to the Great Smoky Mountains in North Carolina and rural Appalachia, the conspiracy has found its way to Colorado. Granted, there's currently no official documentation to suggest that feral cannibals live in Colorado's national parks, but that hasn't stopped conspiracy theorists from telling their stories. TikTok users from the state have shared their own explanations and stories, blaming cannibals aliens, and Bigfoot as potential culprits behind missing hikers, specifically in Rocky Mountain National Park. Despite the conspiracy, Rocky National Park only has three active cold cases, which span nearly 70 years. Is TikTok right? Are there really cannibals lurking in Rocky National Park? What do you guys really think happened? Let us know in the comments, and be sure to stay tuned for our next mystery.